This one might be a bit of a stretch. When one goes to a DMV office, the building is plain looking or minimalist. The reason for this, of course, is because the people tasked to build the office were ordered to build to certain specifications. And because nobody had much individual stock in how nice the building looked, it was built to meet those specifications, and those specifications were not exceeded. This makes perfect sense, as that was the incentive. The builders got a state contract, and if they exceeded that contract, they wouldn't get paid anymore. Education camps are typically like this as well. When a camp is first built, there's typically a deal of communitarian zeal, and so new state buildings tend to look much nicer than the old ones. But the camps I went to, and my guess is this is true for most people, they were minimalistic. Things were typically painted very plainly, the chairs were plain, the hallway tiles were all plain and simple and minimal, and the lockers and all that stuff. This is not something the people who staff these state agencies intend to do. You can see with the newer buildings that they can look nice. It's not like minimalism is what they're trying to do, but that's just what happens. Either over time or right away, the building becomes minimalistic as, and plain, as repairs and new coats of paint are all put on by people who want to do the minimum. And so even if it looks really nice when it's first built, that communitarian zeal is typically not sustained. Private buildings don't look that way. Private buildings tend to be a lot more individuated. And a child who was always told to obey the people in the state education camp was told to obey the people in that building, or buildings if it was an outdoor camp. And that building looks a certain way, and this makes it look official. That is, if the state buildings don't look minimalistic, I don't think they are taken as seriously as buildings that do. The irony is that minimalistic looking buildings look that way not out of some deep and overwhelming officialdom, but out of the people building them having no incentive to make them look very nice. This is why for the longest time I thought the YMCA was a state agency possibly connected to the education camps. It wasn't until I was around 10 that I learned it was a private organization, although now I, I would classify the YMCA as a communitarian organization. I call this the minimalist official effect. It's the effect where by making something minimalistic, you make it look official. The military uses this to great effect. Everything in the military, uniforms, uh, officer uniforms, the way everything is painted, is, is all minimalist official. All the symbols, that little star thing, that they, the star and the flag thing that they put on the airplanes, how everything is stenciled on in that, you know, in that like impact slash courier new font. Of course, the military does this on purpose to drill uniformity, while the civil service does this as a result of the classic socialist incentive problem. That is, nobody has an incentive to make it look nicer than this. I recall actually using this minimalist official effect when I was 12. At our church, our, we had a youth group, in which I was a part of, and we were going to lead the youth service. And this was like a really big deal, it was a once a year deal, and we wanted to make it really nice. We were arguing about the event order for the service, and it, it was toward the end, we had already, uh, everyone had already rehearsed their events, and so we were arguing about the event order, and my position was, was losing. And even then, I was a champion of lost causes, so I had a lot of practice uh, doing this stuff. So I went to the front office of the church, and found one, an old dot matrix printer, which was probably made in the 80s. I typed something in, the, in courier font, in font. I typed the order that I wanted in courier font, printed it off, and even left those little perforated hole things on the side. I handed out the schedule that I wanted to members of the group as if it was already decided upon, and that was that. Nobody questioned it. They took the paper and all either went home or went to some other part of the church to do something else that was going on at that time, and the next week we performed the service in the order that I wanted. But the heavy lifting had already been done for me. Those kids were already trained to obey that which looked minimalist official. And this can be applied to the state, but it's a trick that a lot of people use.